Oh, they got 50. 50 a gem. Okay. Oh, they get. Cash, cash. Oh, they get. 30 a gem. Oh, yes. Is that you? Yes, man. Yeah. Fifty German. Ben Chuk, our own Ben Chuk, always on on X. Fifty German. Ben Chuk. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. James Okoro and the family. Fifty German. James Okoro and the family. Oh, James Okere. James Okere and family. Fifty Ejema. Please, please, yeah, one minute. Um, one in face, can you bring somebody else to please? So, I just still doing ID. Um, more hands up, just more hands up. I needed somebody else to help because I'm a focus. Yeah. Our own is in the 50 a gemma. As in the 50 a gemma. Yes. Patience, Ojuku, 30 a j paid. Yes. 30 a j paid. Yes, in it, 50, but not paid. Oh, no, 30, 30 paid. A gemma, yes. More hands up. Okay. Adobe. Adobe, 50 a gemma. I don't be Ike Jogu. Fifty a gemma. I don't be. Just one second. Okay. Now rush it. I know. How much? That is our own Monica. Dominica. Our own Dominica. Two hundred a gemma. Yeah. Dominica, two hundred. Okay. Okay. Two hundred. Okay. 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 Yeah. What? What? What's your name? Yeah. 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 Thank you so much, Akash. Rosalind Eke, family, 200 a gemma. Wow. Rosalind Eke and the family, 200 a gemma. Rosalind, Rosalind and Uzoma, 200 a gemma. Okay, excellent. Uh, you've, you've written the, this one. Yeah. Cecilia, 40 a gemma. Done, done already. It's already been done. Yeah. <laughs> one, one somebody is mass you to be 30 a gemma. Yeah. Okay. okay. Mass, I hope I'm stay here. Because Mazi dozier forty a gemma cash. We appreciate them. and family fifty a gemma. Chooks Okore and family. Okori, not Okore. Chooks Okore and family fifty a gemma. More hands, more hands. Before she don't know, before she don't know, okay. Mazi, before she don't know, she don't know, 100 a gemma. 
Maze, Bupo, Bupo, Chidore, 100 Edema. Okay. Felicia, I'm a Efuna, 100 Edema. Please appreciate them. Please, please appreciate them. Yeah. Okay, just a minute. I'm coming. Yes. Yes. Okay. The last one is uh, uh, Felicia. I'm a Funa. Hundred, hundred a gemma. Sorry, email. Emelda, our own Emelda, hundred Ejema. Christopher, Christopher, Okwebu, fifty Ejema. Christopher, Okwebu, fifty Ejema. Yeah, there's two more. Chip Wednesday, Ibe Kwe, twenty Ejema. Chicken as a wine. Chicken as a as a wine. Florence, uh, twenty-five. Eje Makash. Huh? No, they are pointing out. Yes. Okay. Mercy Ono Irebu, 200 Ejema. Mercy Ono Irebu, 200 Ejema. Yeah. We've already started this one. It, it's already been put in the game before. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh no, hold on. What's the name again? Mercy, oh no, 200 a gemma. Mercy, oh no, 200 a gemma. Okay. Which one? 200 a gemma. Mazi, oh no, nankume. Mweke. 200 a gemma. On oh, yes, Mazi on an Nkuma. Nkuma. Two hundred a gemma. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. Maria Okonkwo forty. Okay. Maria Okonkwo forty a gemma. Maria Okonkwo forty a gemma. Put Maria first. Maria, Maria Okonkwo, 40 a gemma. Maria Okonkwo, 40 a gemma cash paid. Yeah. Okay. Gloria Uchebunam, 50. Gloria Uchebunam, 50. 50. Yeah. We're moving forward. We're moving forward. You know, we UK, we like to take record. Please bear with us. Honorable Bishop Dr. Comfort, 100 Ejemma. Honorable Bishop Dr. Comfort, 100 Ejemma. Sure. Yeah. 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 This is eBay. You've put in it. It's still here. Yeah. More. Please, more hands.
Mr. and Mrs. Oboche, 100 a gemma. Mazi Philip, okay, 30 a gemma. Philip, Philip, 30 a gemma. Please, more hands up, more hands up. We have a few minutes. Mrs. Mrs. M, hundred a gemma. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. More hands. Okay, okay, okay. This is a quick one. Chima chike tati a gemma. We're trying, trying to be the time. Yes. Our own Bridget Mwaji, 100 a gemma. Oh, please appreciate them, appreciate them. More hands, more hands, more hands, more hands up. Yeah, the people at the back. More hands, more hands. Okay. Our own Uchengwa, 50 a gemma. Uchengwa. Our own Uchengwa. Yeah, 50 a gemma. Thank you so much. Thank you, PM, for coming around. Okay, more people. Oh, I can still see more hands up, more hands up. Ngozi Alfonso, hundred gemma. Ngozi Alfonso, hundred gemma. I'm still saying more hands. More hands. More hands. Yep. There's another hand here. Miss Mrs. Pell Onyema. Ten a gemma. Mrs. Pell a gem. Yeah, catch. Oh. How am I gonna? Our own John Jonas. Our Abu Jonas. Who got it, Jonas? Fifty a gemma. Thank you. Frank. Frank. Frank Onyema. Is it Frank Onyema? Okay. Mr. Frank Onyema. The wife. Mr. Frank Onyema. Yeah. Twenty a gemma. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. Twenty. Oh, Uche Uche Mwa said now uh, seventy instead of fifty. Yeah. Okay. Twenty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's it. That's it. That's not where I did. Yeah. Uche Mwa. Uche Uche Mwa. Uche Mwa. Uh huh. Hundred. Seventy. 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 Wow, wow, wow. Any other hand? Any other hand up? Any other hand up? Any other hand up? Any other hand? Any other, hand? Any other going? Any other hand? Wow, this is an awesome exercise. Even with, even with the little time, even with the little, the little time we have, we managed to do something. Wow, thank you so much, PM, for this uh, wonderful opportunity. Just for the people that are here, exclusively for the people that attended this mega workshop. Thank, thank you so much. much. We appreciate you. And uh, we want to hear what you, you want, want to tell, tell us again, again before, before we end the, pro the, sh the program. Because a lot of people want to go, you know, at the moment. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much, uh, United Kingdom, and uh, 
for putting up uh, this workshop on an uh, ID card for the ID card application. And I believe that uh, we will be having clips from the workshop today uh how the Biafrans in the united kingdom will be applying uh you know taking them through the application process or uh, for the biafra government id national identity card uh, uh we appreciate you for putting up this workshop so that uh, every biafran will be very conversant and know how the application process uh how to make the application and i can see on the tables like your computers and all that and of course, uh, the news will, uh, you know, will also shock the enemy of Biafra, as uh, the uh, the uh, database team and the uh, Biafra Security Administrative Administration team and the ID card, ID card team, they are all working day and night tirelessly to make sure that uh, we put smiles on your faces and make sure that not only not only smiles that we the Biafra government provide the ID card that would meet the international standard, European standard, American standard. And that's what we are, we're not going to any, we're not going for anything less than that. And that particular, uh, 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 you know, have, that particular one that has been achieved. So everybody should be very, uh, keep your finger crossed. In Finland, uh, I believe that uh, by the special grace of God, the uh, first badge of the ID card will be distributed you know here during the convention that is our target and uh, so i thank you for putting up this we'll be waiting to get clips from this uh, workshop because we didn't join any people for the workshop we only joined after the workshop which uh, you know just uh, one hour into the program so i know all of you have been there since morning uh, you know making sure that uh, you know how to go about the application it is going to be very very interesting um when the recognition of biafra begin to happen because the journey have just started this is the way everybody will be law abiding citizen in biafra biafra land like you have conducted yourself and continue to conduct yourself very peacefully where you are today you can see the calmness in all of you the uh, smiles in all of you uh you know there is nothing that uh, i will be more proud than this not like in nigeria where whenever you gather as nigerian there is this evil spirit that will possess you even when you are calm like this once you are here as a nigerian there is one particular evil spirit that is about destruction about anarchy about noise making everything bad will possess you you will begin to misbehave you see everybody throwing this and that that's what nigeria is all about and every one of you here that spirit have departed from you that you have been delivered and we are very very happy to see this, this is exactly the way we are, look at just the color and the smiles in the faces of everybody you know the only country that uh, in africa that i will say you know i'm seeing such uh progressive spirit is in botswana we are going to even be better of course botswana is just it's just that they have the opportunity, you know, to become an independent state for a very long time. So, but Biafra will lead and others will follow. We will be a place where people will come to learn how things are done. Look at all of you coming from different parts of the United Kingdom to this particular event to, you know, talk about the application process, the Biafra National ID Card. I really appreciate you. And uh, looking forward to seeing many of you in Finland. Finland is going to be very very interesting we're working very very seriously with the authorities here to make sure that everybody is safe thank you very much may god bless all of you airborne 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 remember, remember that you as you are there your people will never be killed again in biafra land exactly. by those who have killed and molested them for many years it's... though they will be trying but they will meet the highest resistance in the history. That's what we're offering, making sure our people will never go down like chicken. Thank yes. you. May God bless you, the United Kingdom. May God bless you, dear friends in the, U in the United Kingdom. I love you all. All right, wonderful people. Welcome back. <laughs> uh, finally,
court has threatened to judge SSSDG over Mazin and the Kanu. <laughs> uh, I talk, um, I don't say it go happen like this. Of course, uh, Mazin and the Kanu is a prophet, a Jewish prophet for that matter, a prophet of old. And um, you see how this Nigerian uh, DSS, the court, he, uh, because of his case, uh, Bintanyaka also have dropped, and now uh, the court has threatened to uh, jail SSS DG, uh, Director General, uh, because of Mazen and the Kano. <laughs> I know that because of this issue of Mazen and the Kano, a lot of things are still going to unfold. But meanwhile, let's go down to the full details of this particular information. The Federal High Court in Abuja has threatened to imprison the Director General of the State Security Service, Adiola Ajayi, over the secret police refusal to allow lawyers access, access to Nam the Kano. Mr. Kano, who is facing terrorism charges, is the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. The IPOB leader has been in detention since he was brought back to Nigeria from Kenya in June 2021 under controversial circumstances. His legal team has reportedly accused the SSS of denying them access to Mr. Kano. The Federal High Court in Abuja, in a notice issued on Friday, warned Mr. Ajayi that further denial of the lawyer's access to IPOB that would amount to a contempt of the court and might result in his imprisonment. The judge, Bintanyako, on 28 May this year, had ordered the SSS to allow Mr. Kano to receive visitors for three days in a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Take notice that unless you obey the direction contained in this order, see overly by allowing the applicant, Kano, counsel to conduct the court order visitation with the ap applicant on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You will be guilty of content of court and will be liable to be committed to prison. The court warned Mr. Ajayi in the Friday notice. The notice was also uploaded on Facebook by Mr. Kano's special counsel, Aloy Ejimako, on Friday evening. Mr. Ejimako said the register of the court issued the notice. The notice was titled from 48 notice of consequence of disobedience of the order of court brought pursuance to order IX rule 13 of Sheriff and Civil Process Act, CAP 56, Elephant 2004. Apart from Mr. Ajayi, the court directed that the federal government should be served with the notice through their lawyer, Adekboye, Adekboyega Aumolo, a senior advocate of Nigeria. Mr. Ajimako, in a statement on Friday, said the notice was instated by the repeated disobedience of the court ordered visitation of Mr. Kano by SSS Director General. The lawyer said Mr. Kano's legal team has not been allowed access to the IPO builder since 24th September. He explained that the notice is a quash, quashy criminal judicial process that for once any person disobeying a court order of the penal consequences of such an act. Therefore, if the Director General of SSS proceeds on, it, on this ignoble path, he will leave us with no other option than to commence vigorous content proceedings against him, Mr. Ejimako stated. Mr. Kano's legal team has reportedly accused SSS of denying them access to him. The legal team, for instance, accused the SSS of blocking them from visiting the IPOB leader last Monday. The lawyer on 27 September made a similar allegation against the SSS. Before then, the SSS allegedly prevented some lawyers from seeing the IPO leader in 2021. The incident had reoccurred in 2022, about a year after. Mr. Kano was first arrested in 2015 under the administration of former Nigerian President Muhammad Buhari. The Court of Appeal Abuja on 13 October 2022 held that the IPOB leader was extraordinary rendition to Nigeria and that the action was flagrant violation of the country's extraordinary extradition treaty and also a breach of his fundamental human rights. The court therefore struck out the rising charges filed against Mr. Kano 
by the Nigerian government and ordered his release from the facility of the SSS. But the government refused to release the IPOB leader, insisting that he, Kano, could be unavailable in subsequent court proceedings if released and that his release would cause insecurity in the southeast where he comes from. The government, through the office of the Attorney General of the Federation, later appealed the court ruling and subsequently obtained an order staying the execution of the court judgment at the Supreme Court, delivering judgment on the appeal on 15 December 2023. The Supreme Court reversed the acquittal granted to Mr. Kano by the lawyer by the lower court and consequently ordered continuation of his trial at the Federal High Court. Uh, my people, I don't see I see the happen for that matter uh, because. All right, wonderful people, welcome back. When I don't see I see the channel for that matter, where we say it concerned the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Omadike, one of Ndibo, Odogwana, Manzuna, Nya, eh? And the bang is so gonna have more can I bring more can I get one and I'll be fine. I didn't enjoy. It's not about my own uh, issue, it's not about the courts giving order, it's about the citizens obeying this order because. The, the the Nigeria we found ourselves, the nation is fa we found ourselves is a nation whereby the government passed house, the, the the executive, the legislature, and even judiciary themselves are now higher than the court. Because it is in this country that uh, they will give order for a former governor to be arrested. You see the governor flaunting the order. They will give order to, for a former senator to be arrested. He will flaunt the order. This is the country where we find ourselves. It is the same country where a snake swallowed millions, monkey carried money away. This is the country where we are find ourselves. So it's not about the, the court of competent jurisdiction giving their order uh, that Kano should be allowed his visitors. It ab is about the director general of the uh, uh, state security service obeying this order. That's where I myself am pointing, uh, because uh, remember that Kano was uh, discharged and acquitted. But the, through the, the federal government, through the Attorney General of the Federation, filed uh, a, a state of execution of that particular judgment uh, that was uh, given uh, by, by the appellate court. And this will tell you that uh, the nation uh, where we find ourselves uh, is a nation where things doesn't work out well. Meanwhile, on other information, we we'll say it concerned our sister, Abi, our brother, Bobriski. <laughs> he said, hold very dark man accountable, Bobriski re replies, Falana and Faust. Let's go down to that details, even though this is not uh, our usual thing here, but some things uh, when I need to be here, um, uh, because of course I told you that no cake and wine, uh, no, I didn't enjoy. Uh, it's like a Bob Risky is a car for one or something like that. A popular uh, cross-dresser Idris Okunonya, also known as Bob Risky, has asked human rights activists and lawyer Femi Falana and his son, Fularin, popularly known as Faust, to hold controversial media critic Martin Otsi, also known as Very Dark Man, responsible for defamatory content circulating on social media. The cross-dresser clarified that he never gave Falana or his son any money to get a presidential pardon during his prison ordeal. But brisky response followed Falana and Faust demand for a public apology and retraction of defamatory statements made by popular crossdresser in audio recordings circulating online. The punch reports that in one of the audios shared by Very Dark Man, Bobrisky claimed that he had spoken with Faust, requesting his assistance in persuading his father. Falana to help secure a presidential pardon, which alleged cost 10 million naira. The cross also alleged that he asked files for 3 million to secure special treatment at Creek Creek Correctional Center. In another audio shared by Very Dark Man, Babrusi claimed to have paid 5 million upfront to a senior advocate in Nigeria in an attempt to secure a federal government pardon over charges filed against him by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. However, in a letter dated October 14, 2024, issued by Falana's legal representative, Olorufemi Akinyemi and Taiwo E. Olawale, 
Fabrizki was accused of making false and defamatory statements about Falana and his son's involvement in the alleged bribery and pardon. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, now who never knew a very dark man, named the call and small boy. Uh, but this is where I'll be winding down the curtain because this matter self, you know, to concern us. Uh, now the freedom matter, now you will be carrying out took all the time. Now here I go to wind down this curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, uh, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment and share and also remember, uh, make you the on that notification button so that when our news go to jump in, you will be the first to let them. Thank you for listening. God bless you.